Addressing radicalization by preventing and countering it has been one of the pillars, one of the key components of EU counterterrorism policy. And the EU has taken interest in these issues since 2004 Madrid terrorist attacks and 2005 London attacks. Security is primarily national competence, yet EU citizens have expressed on many occasions support for being more involved in counterterrorism. Radicalization has been concisely defined by the European Commission as a complex phenomenon of people embracing radical ideology that can lead to them committing terrorist acts. There is also a wealth of academic definitions of radicalization and differing views on that. And sometimes the process is pre presented in form of models, uh, showing it as a set of stages. Is it really a linear process? Why do certain individuals uh, become radicalized while others do not? There are no simple answers to these questions, and indeed the, the debate is ongoing while it's feeding policies. The activities of Radicalization Awareness Network connects frontline practitioners, policy makers and academics. The EU also addresses terrorist propaganda online. Two sets of actions are taken. On the one hand, there are attempts at referring online content for removal. On the other hand, counter-narratives and alternative narratives are promoted to terrorist propaganda. We have spent much more time online. Prolonged economic hardship have led people to become more anxious and vulnerable to propaganda. And indeed, we have witnessed uh, more and more propaganda being available and consumed online. There has been some success of EU and national governments in that respect, as evidenced by the disruption of Telegram. But on the other hand, extremists have been going further underground and uh, used a variety of less known platforms. Another worrying trend is a rise in phenomena other than terrorist acts, such as hate crime and hate speech. There is an initiative to extend the list of so-called euro crimes for which the EU can create minimum rules concerning the definition of crimes and sanctions. The same way it has done for human trafficking or money laundering. Mm -hmm. 